What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm doing a review on this Wild Badger 52cc Weed Eater. Now, this was given to me so it is like a paid sponsorship, but it's still a good weed eater. I recommend it. Links in the description. And if you guys stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to tell you how you guys can win an Amazon gift card. So, enjoy the review. I hope you like it. Like I said, if you guys want to get anything, Prime Day is coming up on Amazon on the 11th. So check out the description. A bunch of links in there. Stock up on carburetors, stock up on parts, stock up on a new equipment. I'm going to have the description loaded full of links you guys can check out. So, like I said, meet me at the end of the video. And I'll tell you how you guys can win the giveaway. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Check out this bad mama jamma. That's a wild badger weed eater. Now... Wild Badger did send me this weed eater for free to make a video on. Which is good because I want to try out a cheaper style of weed eater. So this is perfect. I don't like the big arm things, but I think it'll be fine. So let's take our Milwaukee Combat Knife here and open this bad boy. And we got the badass weed eater ourselves. So two heads with this, straight shaft, that's always good, 52 cc's, so it has power. Okay, let's see what fuel mix they want. I'm going to put 50 to 1 in there. They're not asking for anything. Has a primer bulb. Looks good. Oh, if you wanted to change the spark plug, you actually have to use a tool to do that. So, I got the string trimmer all put together. Let's add some gas and try to start this thing. Now, just to let you know, the plastic on the machine itself feels really durable. Kind of janky air filter system, but you never know. So I'm using zero ethanol 50 to one premix. This stuff's really good. You get it at Home Depot, a tractor supply, pretty much anywhere, AutoZone. Now I'm gonna try to use a whole tank of gas. I'm gonna need it for the yard I'm doing. But to be honest, man, that took almost the whole thing. That's a big gas tank actually. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with the fuel tank size. We'll take this with us just in case we need more. But I'm probably going to bring old reliable, my Toro, just in case I don't like using this to finish up. But we'll make a honest review of this. So we're going to prime it. Feel is going into the primer bulb. That's a good thing. There we go. So I was wrong about the throttle. There's a throttle lock on it. So. Let's take it to the yard and get this done there's wild badger 52 cc brand new they just sent me and there's old reliable toro 25 cc so we're gonna see if this is gonna be the new one i don't like the handles on the new one obviously even though it's two times a bigger engine i do like just holding it and the throttle on the main thing i need a pole saw attachment i wonder if i could put a pole saw attachment on that if wild badger if you're watching this send me attachments or your 26 cc weed eater with the attachments and i'll make a video on that as well if not i'm gonna buy a toro pole saw i got some trees that need to be chopped down but anyways let's go and see now if the new wild badger they sent me is good enough to maybe retire or give it to my brother if not my brother's getting this one for my weed eater of choice so to the overgrown yard here we are at the yard I'm going to do. Look at these guys though. What are those? Anyways, look how overgrown this is. Sidewalk. 
and we'll go to the front of the yard this is where we're going to test out the wild badger look at this see if this is any good hey look at that there's a home light an old school st1756 that's a nice weed eater not really actually the older home light stuff was pretty good so let's go get this weed eater and do our shit here okay if everybody made it this far in the video they're gonna be real mad because i'm not gonna wear eye protection i do wear gloves to help the fatigue of the hands I do have my earbuds in so I can listen to my music and um, answer phone calls. But if this thing gets too heavy, I'm going to probably switch to Old Reliable. Still cut down all the weeds. So if you made it this far, you can keep watching or click the timestamps just to see the final conclusion of the review. But without further ado, I say let's begin. So, I hope you enjoyed the Wild Badger Weed Eater review. I didn't get a chance to review the blade attachment, but it is what it is. I think it's going to be a good attachment for the big tall weeds. So, all you got to do to enter the giveaway, if that's what you guys made it here for, is just leave a comment. Leave a comment down below, and at the end of the month, I'll pick a work a winner, and you'll win an Amazon gift card. Hey, shit, maybe even two winners. So, thank you guys for watching. Just leave any kind of comment down below. I'll pick a winner at the end of the month. And that's all you guys got to do to win. Now, to be honest, I'm going to talk about the weed eater a little bit. As much as it has the power, I don't like the way a 52cc like this operates with the big long handles. And putting the weed eater behind you. I like the ones you kind of just hold, like the 26ccs. So like I said, I put the Wild Badger 26cc in the description too. Plus it has a pole saw attachment, which is pretty cool to put attachments on a nice weed eater. So I just don't like the big old 52ccs. Now, like you saw in the video, I do prefer my old reliable here. My Toro 26cc. I'm doing a little video on that. It's just the, the handle orientation on the Wild Badger is a little different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, leave any comment for a chance to win Amazon gift cards. Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe as well.